Some people are asking why is the Oba of Bini trending? Why the Oba of Bini is trending? Because two chiefs that were suspended by the Oba of Bini petitioned the Oba and took the Oba to court. And from investigations and research, you know that these chiefs are being backed by Obaseki. Although amongst the defendants, we had the Edo State government listed in that document. But when you look at politicians and the politics that is being played, you know that Obaseki, uh, these guys that took the Oba to court are loyal to Obaseki. The reason why I'm making this broadcast is because we need to preserve our traditional institutions. Our traditional institutions is our heritage. These are the things that identify us. We are identified by our institutions and culture. Not the system of the white man. The white man came with their democratic whatever system and their constitution, and they met our institutions in place. They come to distort what Africa has built. Imagine you not respecting the office of the Oba of Benin. We know that the constitution gives the governor powers over the traditional rulers. We know that Edo State as it is, the governor of Basaki is in charge of Edo State and everything that is in it, irrespective of whether the Oba of Benin is powerful or whether people respect the Oba of Benin or whether people are seeing Oba of Benin as a semi-god. The governor has the powers to remove the Oba of Benin. Let's not be sentimental, but he would not do it because we need to respect our traditional institutions. We need to upgrade and update our traditional institutions, our culture. The more reason why you speak English and neglect your dialect, your language, your African language, is still the effect of colonialism. We are destroying our culture, our identity, our tradition. Why would two chiefs want to disgrace the other of Benin? When it comes to tradition, we don't wash our dirty linens outside. You don't bring it out. You don't bring your dirty linen, your underwear. You don't bring it and wash it outside. It should be a private thing. The governor should not intervene in the matters concerning the traditional ruler, especially the person we call the above BD. Do you know how respected that institution is? We know the constitution gives the governor powers. Like I said, I repeated it again and again. Like the emir of Kano Sanusi that was removed by his local government chairman, being facilitated by the governor, people were surprised that a local government chairman could actually remove an Emmy of Kano that powerful. A governor could actually disgrace an Emmy of Kano that powerful. So can Obaseki do the same thing? Let's not be sentimental. Let's look at the fact that there is a former governor of Koki State took the Oba of Benin to court. We have spiritual power, we have physical power, we have government power. They can actually use their government power. If you look at history, the, the, the power of the guns and bullets could overpower the spiritual, the fetish, the traditional means of uh, incantation and everything. They overpowered the Benin kingdom and was able to send the Oba of Benin to exile. So they are powers. There is government power, there is traditional power. But we need to protect our institutions. We should not allow these things repeat itself again. It is a denigration of our traditional institutions. I know Oba of Bini is most, one of the most revered uh, traditional rulers in Nigeria. And bringing this Oba to a court to receive judgment by, wow. I'm not from Edo, I'm not, I, 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 I'm not from the South South, but I feel it is bad. You should not destroy our institutions. Don't allow the white man's system of governance override that of yours. Because now, they introduce all this constitution, republican constitution, electing constitution, whatever constitution, and Africa has not developed despite. Africa has not developed despite all this thing that we imported into our society. It furthermore destroys our identity and what we have. I heard Benin is on fire. These two chiefs will not have any place to hide Protect your traditional institutions, Africans, because that is what you have. You have nothing else. Obaseki, please respect the position of the Oba of Benin. Even though you have a secret, you know the secret of the Oba of Benin, you can do and undo and nothing will happen, we know. It is beyond the Oba of Benin. If there are checks and balances, you find a way around it. Don't bring it out. 
and we hear on the news that the Oba is scheduled to appear before court. How does it sound to the ears that somebody takes the Oba of Lagos? Or um, I, 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 I respect tradition, African tradition. I don't know, maybe from the youngsters that are growing that don't know the, the essence of tradition. I respect tradition because before the white man came, they met us, they knew our identities. You can see the French system of government turning Africans to f behave like French. So they wanted to steal your identity or they wanted to destroy your identity and put in their own identity, make you carry out their own ideology, practice their system, turning Africans to become, behave like Frenchmen, turning Africans to behave like British men. What about we behaving like Africans? We had our technologies, we have our ingeniousness. So I'm placing a warning to the governor of Edo State. It's a warning. I know Benin will not take it lightly with the governor of Edo State or anybody or the chiefs. You might say it's fake news or whatever. You have your opinion. But when you look at that, you look at it psychologically. You can look at it and have a thought about it. Who would give these guys morale? This, I think, is the first time it's happening in Edo State. Who will give these guys morale to take the order of being to court? Who else? There's a picture you see them standing with the governor. There are some sources that have revealed that these guys are loyal to the governor. And you know politicians, how they play the game. They can play perfectly and don't even notice that they're the ones doing it. Through decoy, through a third party, they can do anything they can do and distance themselves and watch the film as it unfolds. Bini, don't take this lightly. Preserve one of the oldest traditional institutions in Nigeria, which is the Bini Empire. The Oba of Bini, well respected, well revered. Yes, let there be... Do it as if your lives depend on it. Don't let anybody denigrate that position. So, would I say for those in the Southeast and from Southeast, those in the Southeast, preserve your culture, your constitution, your tradition, preserve it, find ways to promote it. The English I'm speaking, I shouldn't be speaking English, but for communication purposes, I will do so. So, I, 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 I will want uh, to say, uh, please let chaos let's avoid chaos in bini in edo state and make sure this doesn't re doesn't repeat itself again